Jolson from Seal to Heal, and I'm so excited to start this series on spirit, soul, and body. Looking at different aspects on the way that we get healed, and one is through prosperity of the soul. 3 John 1 verse 2, I pray that you would enjoy good health and that all would go well with you even as your soul is getting along well. Understanding spirit, soul, and body is so crucial in walking as a believer that we are beings of three parts, integrated and holistically entwined together. You are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. The soul is the realm of the heart and the mind. The soul makes up an integrated part of our thoughts, our feelings, our choices, our body, and our social constructs and relationships. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 23, may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, without understanding spirit, soul, and body, you could end up questioning your salvation. You got saved, you had an amazing experience on that day that you were born again, you put your trust and you believed in Christ. But how did you get saved? What actually happened? The next day you woke up, you got the same marriage problem, maybe that same debt that's looming over your head, the same parenting problems that you're going through, the same sickness that you're struggling with. So you ask yourself, it leads you questioning, what actually changed? How did I get saved? And it's so crucial to understand what happened at the point of salvation. When you put your trust in Jesus, His Spirit, the Spirit of Christ, came to live inside of you to make His home, and He brought your dead spirit dead to sin, he made it alive. You're born again. The spirit of Jesus is connected, intertwined, made one with your spirit. And so that is your new creation reality now. Your new identity, Christ in you, intertwined with your spirit. He's made you a new creation. Your spirit is brand new. The same spirit that you have is going to be with Jesus in eternity forever and ever. Where we are being sanctified and changed, made whole, made perfect, is in the realm of our soul. That's where we've learned things from our past. There's generational influences of our parents and ancestry where it's all the things we've accumulated in experiences of this life, the traumas, the good things that we've learned from parents, teachers, and those that have been influential in our lives. They are in the realm of the soul. The soul is our heart and our mind. You have been sanctified completely in your spirit. It's uncontaminatable. It cannot be polluted. It cannot be affected. It is a pure, whitewashed by the blood of Jesus, spirit, a new creation. It's in the realm of our soul that we get renewed and we need to be transformed in the renewing of our mind as it speaks of in Romans 12 verse 2. I want to encourage you, go through this series of spirit, soul and body and learn some of the things that can unlock healing in your life, the root problems that are buried in our souls, our hearts, and will see you prosper in your soul. And as you go well in your soul, so it will go well in your body and in your health.